The distillation process for whiskey uh, and bourbon and Scots whiskey and Canadian whiskey, Japanese whiskey, it's all exactly the same. Um, so once you have the fermented uh, liquid, uh, the next step is to actually distill it. And what happens here is that liquid is boiled and the alcohol evaporates, but you uh, capture that alcohol vapor in tubes and it's then cooled. And then as it's cooled, it condenses back into a liquid again. And uh, naturally, this liquid is uh, a much higher alcohol content than that of the stuff which you just boiled. So you end up with, um, a lot of the time what they'll do is they'll distill it a few times uh, and you get a very pure form of uh, this alcohol, very high in, uh, in alcohol. And uh, then a lot of the time they'll just add purified water to it to bring it back down to roughly, you know, 80, 80 proof. Um, the color uh, of these whiskeys, however, does not come from this process. It comes after when it's put into casks and is matured.